Uh, if you've seen one of my previous videos, you'll know that I like to organize my models as a series of layers, especially models of a residence like this, uh, into a series of functional layers. Um, I uh, will continue doing that, and uh, so I would like to actually create a, a layer um, that I will call the floor plan. And the floor plan layer is used to uh, uh, hold uh, just the flat floor plan information. This would be the uh, flat drawing, uh, two-dimensional drawing of the uh, uh, interior and exterior walls of the building, uh, room dividers, uh, and then uh, 2D representations of uh, all the other uh, objects that are going to be uh, built into the structure. So the floor plan layer is one, one of the things that I'll be making. Another layer that I like to have is called the room. And this is where I will put uh, grouped objects, the rectangular grouped objects that represent the different rooms that I'm putting in here. And uh, then uh, there will be other, uh, other layers of, uh, that are related to the floor plan. There's the floor plan electrical, the floor plan plumbing, uh, some other things like uh, floor plan windows and doors and so on. But uh, we'll get to those uh, later. Anyway, so what I would like to do first is uh, decide how it is that I'm going to connect these uh, three containers to each other. And what I would like would be to have at least some area, this 20-foot area here, to be uh, uh, joined together to make one large space. Structurally, I... Uh, need to have there we go I need to ac accommodate this framework here because this 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 framework kind of holds a lot of things together I don't want to cut any of these uh, framing elements and so that leaves you know that leaves this portion uh, in which I can uh, I can place some sort of uh, tunnel between between the three uh, containers. This is a 20-foot container. I think what I'll do is I'll put in a uh, um, say a 16-foot wide uh, opening. So I'm going to make a rectangle. I know that this is 8 feet across here. One container is 8 feet across. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a rectangle and this rectangle is going to be uh, 8 feet by, what did I 16? 16 feet. There we go. And I'm going to make this into a group for now and I'm going to place it over here like this and I'm going to move it from its midpoint, you see my inference lock over there, into the midpoint of this group here like that now what I would like is for this rectangle to actually bridge over between the uh, 20 foot container and the two uh, 40 foot container so I'm going to rescale this I'm going to make it bigger I'll use my control key while I move the scaling that way it will scale on both sides. It will scale on both sides and I want it to be maybe like that big. Okay, so that's all I want. How am I going to cut this into a uh, or, or use this to cut out uh, cut out my panels? There we go. One thing is that I know that it's on top of my floor. If I edit this group, this one here, I can make it uh, taller. I use my push-pull tool and I'm going to pull it up a certain amount. Uh, to the top of the panel is 9 feet. I'm going to make it 8 feet. Like that. So this is going to be an 8 foot tall opening that's six feet uh, 16 feet across.
And what I'll do with this group is I'm going to uh, explode it. No, rather, I'm sorry. I'm going to start off with this uh, this container. So I double click on the container and now I'm going to make use of this wall here. This wall is a group. If you right click on it, or rather if I double click on it again, so now uh, I've opened opened the wall unit as a uh, 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 into its individual elements. I'll do control A to select everything that's in there. Right click intersect faces with model. And now, now that I've intersected it, then, um, let's see, let's close those all up. This thing, you know, I'm going to make a layer here, I'm going to call it uh, temp. This thing I will put into my temp layer. And now I'm going to hide it. All right. So here, as you can see, this wall panel is interrupted by this line where it intersected with my with my big block there. I can actually highlight these and delete them to make a, a hole. There. And then I'll do the same for this group or this this component. Open the component, open the group, uh restore temp, sorry. Um now I'm going to uh select all the uh, parts of that wall, intersect with the model, um, do the same over here, uh, let's see now, find my container, find my wall, and so now I've opened that group and intersect all those faces with with the model. I'll hide my temp layer again, edit the component, and edit this wall. So again, I can highlight all the relevant portions of that wall panel that I don't like. Uh, let's try that again. There we go. And delete them. I'll close this group. then go over to this wall group double click on it to open open that group and delete this part of the wall panel There. And so now you can see that there's a hole that goes all the way through, 16 feet by 8 feet. And I wish to do the same thing with this component here. Uh, whoops. Need to bring back my temporary block here. Um, select them all, right click, intersect with model. Uh, 
Um, hide temp again. And again, cut out the parts I wish to get rid of. looks like I cut out the wrong part here, so I'm going to undo that part. So how does that look? That's, that's not quite right. That's what I want to get rid of there. And so, now you can see my container now has this large area here that goes all the way across, that's 24 feet across approximately, with the uh, uh, encompassing the, the three uh, containers. And so I've used the, uh, I've uh, double clicked on each component to open the component for editing. Then I find the wall panel group, double click on that to open it for editing. Then you select everything that's in there and I intersected it with this block in order to in order to define the portion that I wanted to delete and then I deleted it. And so now that's what my containers will look like.